This is Dr. Krauss with one more quick Raspberry Pi configuration video. So at this point in my own uh, work with this particular Raspberry Pi, I've got a wired Ethernet connection that's working. And I have, sorry, apparently I can't thank you. Um, I've set up VNC to start at boot up. The only thing that's not working is that I don't yet have a connection to my home Wi-Fi network. So in my mind, a Raspberry Pi um, setup is complete. When I can plug in the Raspberry Pi, it powers up, it boots up automatically, it connects to my home network, and it starts a VNC server so that I can log into it remotely. So for that to work, VNC server needs to be installed. There needs to be network connection from the Raspberry Pi to my home network. And then I need to know the IP address of that Raspberry Pi. And as I showed previously, the easiest way to get the IP address is to log into your home router and look at the DHCP clients. And so in this particular case, <coughs> excuse me, because I know that I've got the wired Ethernet connection I'm looking for something that starts with B827, and so it happens to be that IP address. And so that's what I've used to log into um, my wired VNC server connection. And so ifconfig, which I think is for interface config, shows me that ETH0, which is the wired connection, has an Ethernet address on my home network, and WLAN0 does not. So all I'm going to do, and hopefully this is just going to work, is come over here select my home network, type in my password, which I will later obscure from the video. And hopefully that's all it takes and we'll see the little uh, Wi-Fi connection thingy flash over here. And then if I come back to the terminal and say ifconfig, I now see an ethernet address on my Raspberry Pi of 192.168.0.114. And so I'm gonna remember that is 114. I had actually used that Wi-Fi connector in a different Raspberry Pi, and so that was already on my server. So I know that. So then I'm going to close this terminal. I'm going to reboot. I'm going to run upstairs and uh, unplug the Ethernet connection. Right now it's sitting up next to my home router. I'm going to unplug the Ethernet connection, and then hopefully we'll see that when I boot it back up, I can get in with this Wi-Fi connection. So I'll be back in just a minute with that second part of this video. So I went upstairs, powered down my Raspberry Pi, disconnected the wired Ethernet connection, and rebooted it. And um, I had s seen the Ethernet address as 192.168.0.114. So first I'm going to come over to a terminal on my Mac and ping that. And it seems like it's really there. And then I'm going to log in via my VNC viewer. And I've changed the address to 192.168.0.114.1. And that will, of course, ask me for my uh, VNC server password, which is not the same as the login password. And now I'm in. And if I type ifconfig, what I see is the opposite of what I saw the last time. Now ETH0 has no uh, IP address, and WLAN0 does. So I just took the Raspberry Pi. It's not connected to anything except the power connection. It has the Wi-Fi dongle. It boots up. It automatically connects to my home network and it starts a VNC server that I have logged into here. So I would say that everything is working and I'm now free to start installing packages and doing other things to apply my Raspberry Pi to whatever project I'm working on. Thanks.